says, yeah, goes without saying that solving differential equation is not easy. Uh, so read through that. And really the purpose of this particular question is to help you build up your intuition. So, um, so working through here to solve for the second derivative of the wave function, which will help us to see some behaviors of the solution more easily. Uh, yeah. So let's just answer uh, uh, part by part. So it's a pointing on this coefficient here, k minus 2m difference between the two energies. So in the region where the total energy is greater than the potential energy, this uh, entire coefficient, it should be negative because this combination is positive, but there's this minus sign here. So the whole thing is negative. And the signs of k and psi x give the overall sign of the right-hand side, right-hand side here. And hence the sign of the second derivative, which relates to the curvature of the function. Uh, is it concave up or concave down? And uh, this is a bit of a calculus review, I guess. Um, you sh this is something that you should have learned in uh, calculus one, I think. Uh, so you imagine a function psi of x, which uh, let me just uh, plot something that, I don't know, looks like some arbitrary function here. Um, so if I have uh, something that looks uh, like this, I, I don't know. It, it's just an arbitrary function. I'm not really doing anything here. Um, when you look at in this region, for example, what you should see is that the slope of the function, so let me draw a tangent line here, is changing upward. So in this region, what you should be seeing is that the second derivative is positive because the change of the slope is in the positive direction. So here um, I would say, so this is where I would call it concave up. So for the situation that's described in A, where it's a negative, that's better described by behavior that's maybe seen here. Here you can see that the slope of the function it's uh, sloping, it's changing in the negative direction. It's uh, uh, becoming more steeper downward. So here, the, the second derivative, which describes the rate of change of the derivative, would be negative. And this is what you would call concave down. So calculus review. So you would say concave down. Considering the same situation above, if, uh, um, oh yeah, I, I guess I, <laughs> without thinking too much, I drew it for the situation where the wave function is uh, positive. And uh, yeah, when the wave function is positive, there's nothing surprising here. In part C is where you have to be careful. Imagine if the wave function is negative. So if uh, this part is negative, then this right-hand side as a whole is actually positive which means the second derivative is now positive. So it would be concave up. And combining B and C, where it asks which description below best describes the behavior of psi when E is greater than U of X in one phrase. Um, let's just go through each choice one by one. Psi of X is an odd function. I don't think I have enough to say that because odd means uh, when I replace x with minus x, the whole function changes to minus of its previous. And I don't think I have enough evidence to say that. Psi of x always curves away from the axis. Hmm. Okay, second derivative does describe the curvature, but I would describe this as curving towards the axis, not away. So let me skip that for now. Psi of x is asymptotically approaching a non-zero value. I don't get that feeling by looking at this uh, behavior here. It's not asymptotically doing anything. If anything, it's plunging towards zero. So 
So I have x is an even function, same comment as an odd function. I don't think I have enough information. Psi uh, of x always curves towards the axis. You can actually see it here. When you look at the, uh, this portion of the curve, it's concave down, it's curving towards the axis. And imagine that this wave function somehow went beyond the axis. Then as we described in C, this would be now concave up. So it's uh, again curving towards the axis. So where the energy, total energy is greater than the potential energy, the wave function always curves towards the axis. And that should result in something that's oscillatory because when the wave function is above the axis, it's curving down towards the axis. When it's below the axis, it's curving up towards the axis. So, okay, uh, what if the energy of the um, uh, um, ener total energy is less than the potential energy, then what I think you should do is work through uh, B and C, equivalent of B and C, or A, B and C again. Your answer to A would be negative, uh, sorry, positive. Uh, if E is less than U, then the, this K as a whole is positive, which would mean if um, uh, Psi of X is greater than zero, then it would be concave up, almost like this portion of the wave function. But uh, one thing you do have to be careful is if this behavior continues to x approaching infinity, that gives you an unnormalizable function. So really the other thing that would work out here that's still concave up but would give you something normalizable would be something that looks like this, an exponential decay that's concave up and you would vanish to zero so that you can normalize it. So, so with all of that in mind, um, the answer here is basically opposite of the answer in D. So psi of x always curves away from the axis uh, in the region where total energy is less than the potential energy. And, um, and uh, the note here, so in the case where this is constant, you see the two familiar solutions you have seen in uh, in the lecture. One is the sinusoidal oscillatory solution. The other is the the exponential um, asymptotic or um, um, the exponential decay function. Oh, and it's not asymptotically approaching a non-zero value because it should be approaching zero. If we had approached the non-zero value, uh, like constant function is not normalizable either over all space. So yeah, those are, uh, you know, almost a conceptual question. And I guess in this class, we don't really make uh, a lot of use of it, but um, uh, in upper division, in some versions of semi-classical analysis, particularly what's called a WKB approximation, this uh, level of intuition ends up being very helpful. Yeah.